Hey, it's me, Mr. Jason. Now, before we get into our video, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that like button as well as that notification bell so that you know whenever we upload. Also, don't forget to comment down below a book that you would like for us to read together. I love requests. And when I get requests, that lets me know that you're out there listening and watching. And we love that here at Read Aloud with Mr. Jason. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And don't forget, keep reading. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to wherever you are in the world. My name is Mr. Jason, and today I have a read aloud for you. Welcome back to Read Aloud with Mr. Jason. I'm so happy that you're back with us. It's been a while since we've uploaded a new video, but I'm glad that you're back to read with us today. As you may know, February is Black History Month, and I want to start this month off with a triumphant story about a woman by the name of Wilma Rudolph. Wilma Rudolph, through humble beginnings and a life-threatening illness, became a four-time Olympic medalist. Three gold, one bronze. Wilma shows us that no matter what obstacles life throws at you, those obstacles can be hurdled, and you can live the life that you imagined. As we read our story, keep those eyes open for the sight words that you see here on our list. Also, for the parents and the teachers that are watching, here are a few key developmental indicators this particular story teaches. So join me as we read about Wilma Rudolph, written by Eric Braun, and read aloud with Mr. Jason. Wilma Rudolph, written by Eric Braun. Growing up, Wilma Rudolph was born in Clarksville, Tennessee in 1940. As a young child, she was sick with scarlet fever and polio. Wilma lost the use of her left leg. She went to the hospital. She had to wear a leg brace. Doctors said she might not walk again. Wilma worked hard to get better. Her family helped her. She visited a doctor twice a week. By 10, Wilma could walk without a leg brace. Olympic athlete. By age 16, Wilma was a track star. She ran in the 1956 Olympics. She won a bronze medal. Wilma practiced hard. She wanted to do better in the next Olympics. In 1960, she ran in the Olympic Games in Italy. Wilma won three gold medals. She was the first American woman ever to win three gold medals at the Olympic Games. People were proud of her. Wilma's hometown held a parade. Many people came to cheer for her. Later years. Wilma graduated from college in 1963. She later married and had four children. Wilma became a teacher and a track coach. In 1981, Wilma started a group to help young athletes. She taught them to work hard like she did. Wilma died in 1994. People remember her as a hero. Well, as you can see, Wilma Rudolph didn't have it so easily early on in her life. But with hard work, perseverance, and consistency, she not only overcame her ailments, she made history. So, always remember, no matter what's in front of you, no matter what obstacles lay there, you can always hurdle over those and be the best you you know you can be. <laughs> Thank you for reading with me. I had a blast as I always do, and I hope you learned something new today about one of our African-American heroes. 
Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment down below of a book that you would like for us to read together in our Black History Month. Like I said earlier in the video, the more requests, the better. Let's me know that you're listening and watching. If there's something that you've been having a hard time overcoming or something that you've been trying to get done but you just can't figure it out, I want you to give it one more go. And I bet this time you'll figure it out and you'll have a brand new skill. Thank you again for reading with me. I can't wait to read again with you soon. And don't forget, keep reading.